Amateur Moms, giving me the winner already of the 50-50, which means they lost a whole quarter of sales. Here come the Brick Memorial Mustangs. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 50-50. Okay, so it's a pink ticket, same ones. $241 is the take, with 100 going to the Antonucci College Fund. Your winner is number seven. All right, and welcome one, back to the second four, half of action seven. here at high school. Score currently 21 to 7. Jaguars in the lead after a pretty dominant first half. Jaguars came out to an early lead off of a 40-yard touchdown pass by Ty Man. Beauty over the middle, just able to find a soft spot in the defense for a touchdown. Then after a few back and forth punts, right after the end of the quarter, Jackson had a 25-yard screen play to make it 14-0 in the red zone. And after a interception, the Brick Mustangs were able to work their way down the field, score a nice two-yard run off of a good drive to bring it to 14-7. And right as we got to the end of the half with under a minute remaining, the Mustangs punted away the ball for a 92-yard touchdown return by the Jaguars. That was Albert D'Alessandro on that return. Really a great return, able to make a move to the sideline and just outrun everybody else on the field as the Jaguars take the field. Once again, of course, Jaguar Nation here as always supporting this team. And just good game of football so far. Clean only one turnover. Brick has had a few costly, costly penalties with five on the day, one on a fourth down and ten that they ended up converting, getting brought back, which led to the punt return touchdown. Jaguars only with one, and they'll be looking to continue playing a clean game, try to add to this lead, and most of all, Keep the defense rolling how it's been and hold the Mustangs. And Time Man has had a really good game both on offense and defense. Especially on offense, not much passing, but when they do, they are hitting it. And some decent returns. Good corner play. Not much passing from either team. But star of the show for Brick has been Connor Dillette has had one or two pass deflections on defense. Really good performance there and on offense. Keeping the ball and when he has it, it's always dangerous. Able to make moves, gain a couple of first downs. As Clock winds down. Jackson will be receiving the ball. And during halftime, the sun seems to have hidden away behind the school a little bit darker. It's still really nice out. Perfect September football weather. Just what everybody wants. As looking at 80 degrees, cloudy, overcast day. And the kick will go deep to the right side, fielded cleanly. We'll try to look for a hole, running full speed, able to get up, untouched, able to get towards the sideline, tripped up, and goes down, and that was a big return. Could have been bigger, a good shoestring tackle, able to stop that from being an even bigger play. Let's so take a look at that again, just 
able to find a seam, a couple of missed tackles, some good blocking, really a good play by number 26. And those little touches don't look like a lot, but they really can be. And he's been all over the field, running back, made a few good tackles. As we'll see time man. Two in the backfield, two receivers off to his left. They'll go with the handoff up the middle, a nice hole to the side and that'll be a pickup of seven. Bring them to a second and short. That's a good way to open the half. Now on a second and short, could elect to go for a passing play, try to take a shot deep. And even if it falls incomplete, you hope your running game is good enough to get the yards. Take a look at the replay. Just a good, clean opening in the offensive line to get up. A good tackle by Edwin Vargas as Look to go in a similar formation. Hands it off again. Run right up the middle. That'll be a first down. And then some able to find his way to the sideline. Now with a foot race. A good stiff arm gets brought down at the 20. 25 yard run. And that'll be a first down for the Jaguars. Coming out of the gates hot for the. Yeah. And good handoff. Once again, just good patient running. A little bit of a misread so able by to find his way to the corner. Side. And just good running up the sideline. And. Really a big tackle. And the Jaguars are perfectly fine just handing the ball off to Aiden Sweeney. Every play as they'll do it again. He'll bounce it to the outside. He kept forward and keep pushing forward. Looks like he'll pick up about nine and bring him to another second and short. Every and play at just clean hole up the side and able to absorb the contact to keep pushing it forward. And he doesn't have help. He's just moving the pile on his own ball very quickly down to the Mustangs 11. And this can be huge for the Jaguars if they're able to capitalize and get a touchdown. And they'll hand it off to the fullback. Get forward. He'll pick up the first and a few more with that. The three yard play. That's Brandon Gello. Just a good hard run, and that's why you have your fullbacks. Just a little bit bigger and try to muscle their way through and push people out of the way. And the Jaguars have been winning all game at the trenches, and it's really showing up here. Time man. Take the snap and shotgun formation. Take it, roll right. Is looking to keep it himself, able to get to the edge. We'll see if he has the speed. Makes a cut inside and brings it down to around the two yard line. And that's a good eight yard carry. Brings it forward and wouldn't be surprised to see that fullback, maybe the running back involved again, try to punch it in. And good play not to hold and Really good just to keep his momentum going forward. It'll bring it to second and goal from the three for the Jaguars. Line up two backs in the backfield. One receiver to the bottom of the screen and hands it off, has room. We'll see what they call, and that is touchdown Jaguars. Aiden Sweeney carrying the drive, just going down the field, and the offensive line doing a great job of getting holes and just letting them get through. As we'll see, just standard play. Able to find it, and with not much yards to go, really the defense isn't able to collapse fast enough. Finds an opening and gets through it. And with 8-12 left in the third, the Jaguars come out of the half and really just dominate that first drive. And that 
close, almost a block, but it is good. 28 to seven, there is a flag. And that's a big play for the Jaguars, especially considering how the half ended. Gave up a touchdown and then returned a punt for a touchdown. So not much happening for the offense in that second quarter for the Jaguars. But came out and made good on their first drive of the second half. Dead ball foul against the Jaguars unsportsmanlike conduct which will move the kickoff spot back and Jackson will be kicking off from the 25 yard line now backed up but either way 28 to 7 Jeremiah Crispin back for the Mustangs. He's been good tonight. A couple of good returns. Good on offense. That kick will go deep. He receives at the 25. Try to find a hole up the middle. Turns it to the outside. Able to make a cut up. Get to the side. Only the kicker to beat. And he gets knocked out. A phenomenal play by the kicker. Number 90. And really saves a touchdown there, but that's that's a big return. Good on offense. As I'll take that a look at that again. Goes. Curls its way towards the sideline. A good He's clean return by Elijah Benjamin. Takes a cut to the outside, able to make a couple of miss, and number 10 just didn't quite get the right angle on it. And here it's all just speed and really a good play by the kicker, knowing he's near the sideline, just get him out of bounds. And that'll put the ball to the 13, so a 60-yard return. And, and just run up the middle there, but a flag on the play. An illegal procedure on the Mustangs. And once again, that's another big gain by the Mustangs, getting taken away by penalties. Sixth penalty of the night. Mustangs three out wide, one in the backfield. Quarterback keeper, bring it to the outside and good tackle by the defensive line. We'll bring him short, second down and Sean Hubbard on the tackle. It'll pick up a few yards on the play, bring it to a second and 11. And quarterback's gonna like to keep it again. This time, running on his own, pick up a yard or two, and the pressure from the Jaguars has been great. They've really won in the trenches all night and continuing to show that way out of the half. And the Mustangs, after a great special teams return, gonna really, really want to get this going and get the ball in the end zone. 
try to get this lead back to 14 because the way that Jaguars offense was looking, you don't want to give them back the ball. And third and seven from the 15. Connor Dillette in the backfield, takes a snap, rolls right, and will throw short. An incomplete pass, thrown a little bit low, would have been short anyway. Frank Castiano on the coverage, good shot, rolls right, moves to the right, and big hit, just the ball behind, never had a chance of getting it as they want the points here on a fourth and seven going for it. Called to bring the wide receiver in. Delts will take the snap, look to the side throw, get the running back open and that'll be a touchdown for the Mustangs. Huge play on fourth down. And that'll bring us back where we were, but there's another flag. We'll see who it's on. <laughs> Delts will take the snap. Look and it looks like the points will stand roughing the passer against the Jaguars. A touch. The score counts. The Penalty will be added to the kickoff. And the kick is up and good. And the Mustangs, not quite how they wanted it to go, but a little bit rough after the kick return, but able to punch it in, bring it to 28 to 14. And as I said at the beginning, everybody likes high scoring games and we're at one of them. It's and big and so far ahead of the half, both teams coming out hot on special teams and offense. On a beautiful night here in Jackson, New Jersey. Once again, wind has died down, sun has gone away, and we're just on a nice, comfortable day. And Mustangs really want to avoid a return with all the special teams action that's happened so far. It's not where you want your game to be played and a kick towards the sideline. It'll stay in bounds, come forward, but not get far. Jaguars will take over from their own 26 yard line. Last time they really stuck with the run. See what they elect to do here. If the run works, just keep pounding it up the middle and hope it sticks. But with 525 left in the third, the Jaguars can elect to try to kill the clock more and more try to take time out of this game, take away any chance at a comeback, and especially a touchdown here will be huge for the Jaguars. Two backs in the backfield. Time man takes a snap, hands it off again to Aiden Sweeney. It was a dive forward, not much there. And it's a one yard pickup on the play. Bring it to second and nine. Now with two backs in the backfield, 
Once again, hand off to Aiden Sweeney. Gets hit in the backfield and brought down again. A good defensive stand from the Mustangs. Bunch of tackles there, but player down. And looks like they're going to be trying to stretch him out. Hopefully everything is okay. As once again, the Jackson Memorial crowd always here at Jag Nation, always owning that part of the bleachers. Cheerleaders, of course, still here doing what they do. It's uh. It's impressive what they do. I don't. I, I don't understand how they do that. I don't know. And something else impressive is every time the Jaguars score, they do push-ups, and they've done a lot of push-ups. I could still do that. That's. I, I don't know. It's. Uh, it's impressive. Give them that. As we will. Zoom play, third and nine for the Jaguars. Have two in the backfield. Man will take the snap, roll out left, look left, throw towards the sideline. A great pass, able to move the chains on a third and nine. And that's really something interesting about the Jaguars. This time man is lefty, which is not common in sports a lot and it really makes a difference because rolling out to the left there and really just a good clean route finding a soft spot in the coverage a good streak route on the outside to pull away the zone corner and leave a wide open Move soft the chain spot the third the Jaguars and to hit and they do as Jaguars will two in the backfield again Take a snap, Aiden Sweeney bounces it to the outside and able to lose his way forward for a pickup of about seven. Thought to bring them to a second and short. And that's what the Jaguars need out of this run game. And the pass game, the few times the Jaguars have elected to pass, it's worked out. Time man with two touchdowns, around 100 yards tonight. And Ty Man will fumble the snap, try to dive back on it. We'll see who comes out of the pile with it. It looks like the Jaguars got back to it. And Jaguars keep the ball, but really a phenomenal play by Ty Man. Take a look again. Problem with the handoff, loses the ball, and quick reactions to get back to that ball. But Brick, that's an opportunity there. But that'll bring him to third and seven, a loss of four. Big play around midfield. As time and elect to keep it, roll out to his right. He's gonna keep the ball, make a cut forward, able to get all the way down to the 30, a 17 yard pickup on third and seven. And Ty Mann, once again, showing off his ability to scramble. And just because there's not anything open doesn't mean he can't do anything with it. They're just looking for an opening. Signals for a block, able to make a man miss. And truck his way down to the 30. 
a great play by him once again. As they'll hand it off, try to make a man miss with a spin move, but we'll gain a few yards. And Aiden Sweeney really becoming a workhorse in this second half as this has been a longer drive for the Jags. Four minutes and counting on the drive. Second and six for the Jags. Now, Ty Mann hands it off to Aiden Sweeney, but every time they seem to be handing off the ball, they seem to be able to get a few yards past the line of scrimmage, which is huge for the Jaguars, and the Mustangs really just don't seem to have pressure up the middle, always able to fall forward. That'll be third and three for the Jaguars. Under a minute to go in the third. Two receivers wide, two in the backfield. And a high snap, bobbled with time man, able to pull it down, make a move to the right side. We'll see where they mark it. Oops. Like he might be a little bit short, but they'll mark it for a first down. No measurement needed, says the ref. And they'll keep the clock moving. 20 seconds left in the third quarter. Another first down for the Jaguars. And it looks like the Jaguars will bring it back to end the third, an eventful third quarter off of a couple of special teams plays. A Jaguars came out with a couple of big runs, a 25 yard run let loose on their first drive able to score off of that and then off of a 60 yard kick return for the Mustangs they were able to find their way into the end zone off of a 20 yard pass and going into the fourth with a 28-14 lead Jaguars pushing into the red zone Jaguars continuing their push for the red zone. Clean set of downs from the 20. So we enter the fourth quarter. Time man will take the snap. Look left for quick screen. It gets hit behind the line. Ball comes out. Good reactive play there by Frank Castellanos. And that'll keep the ball in the Jaguars' hands. We're taking a look, just a screen play, a bad block, and just gets lit up in the backfield. And not sure if they're going to even rule that a fumble. Not sure if he ever had possession, but either way, just good reaction. That'll bring it to second and ten. And another high snap time man running towards the sideline. 
They're going to keep the ball and he'll lose nine yards on the carry. That's not what the Jaguars wanted. And the market a loss of seven. Bad snap and Elvise just not throw away the ball there. Not much, but now a third and 17 for the Jaguars. And they'll send four wide. Time man in the back. Takes another high snap. We'll bring it forward. Able to find a little bit of room across the middle. Gets hit at the 15. At the 20 and get brought down. That'll be a gain of seven. Not enough for the first, but might bring him close enough for a field goal attempt. And it'll be a timeout for the Jaguars. And good run there, trying to bring a parallel, get a couple of blockers to pick up, but just not able to get the blocks. And it'll leave him on a fourth and nine. And this possession started out great for the Jaguars, but not able to keep it going as it'll stall out around the 20, but as the center will do a, a couple of snaps, a couple of bad snaps in a row, and he'll just try to calm things down Jaguars offense will stay on the field. On fourth and nine. And big point in the game. This time in, away we'll for the snap, take it. Go for the end around, go back and Try to find room on the outside. It's just not going to happen. Able to pick up three on the play, and that'll be a turnover on downs. Ball back to the Mustangs. And that's not what the Jaguars were looking for. But 10 minutes, 20 seconds left, a 14-point lead to protect. And the ball at the 16. That leaves room to work with. An interesting look, one on one coverage at the bottom of the screen, and the look to throw deep down the right side, and that's a big completion for the Mustangs. Out of move the chains quick out of the gun, and that's plenty enough for a first down. A little bit of a low snap, but able to keep it and just gets behind the defense, and lucky that throw was towards the sideline for the Jaguars, otherwise. Not many people could have stopped him. Once again, get a drop back, look short, throw short, but gain enough for another first down, and that'll move the chains. Again, and that'll be a quick two first downs on the drive. And Jaguars looking to protect the lead. Not what you want. As see, just quick throw to the side, and no one there to pick him up. Just good tackles, but a little bit late as they move the ball all the way down to the 40 in two plays, picking up 30 yards. He'll drop back again, look left, throw, and it looked like a little bit of tug on the jersey, but there is the flag. 
And that'll be pass interference against the Jaguars. It's a little bit of a jersey tug. And that's enough. Big penalty for the Jaguars. And they're, they're reeling right now. And Mustang's going to look to keep the pressure going. Jaguars need a stop of any kind. And they'll mark it as defensive holding. As the Lutz putting together a pretty good drive so far. We'll throw it again. This throw deep down the sideline and just a little bit overthrown. Going for it all there. And that'll bring it to a second and ten. Taking a look at that. He just drops back. Not much time in the pocket. Lets it fly and... A little bit past the intended receiver. Nine thirty left in the game. Second and ten for the Mustangs. And for the first time in the game, the Mustangs crowd has gotten pretty loud. And that'll be a quick throw over the middle. Tipped up and incomplete. And no flag on the play. So there is a flag on the play. And again, Jaguars can't seem to find a solution to this passing game. Seem to be having holding problems, and that is a second penalty on the drive for the Jaguars. That gives them a first down. The Mustangs, first down. Mustangs now with a first down on the 30. They're really driving fourth first down of the drive. And quarterback will keep it himself, has him wide open down the sideline and dropped. Big, big play. And Jaguars caught a really lucky break. See a little bit of a low snap, but wide open. And right off the helmet, and the Jaguars got to thank their lucky stars because Jeremiah Crispin has had a good game and really is not going to drop those nine times out of ten. And... Jag Nation gone quiet all of a sudden as the Mustangs work their way down the field. Is that incomplete pass? will bring up second down. And that will bring it to third down. Looks like tried to do a little bit too much motion. And, and that will bring them to a third and ten. And just good play by the Jaguars breaking up everything behind the line. Third and 12 for the Mustangs. As Lutz will drop back, finds a hole, runs up the side, able to pick up the first down and more. And finally gets brought down and that's another situation for the Jaguars. Third down and they just can't seem to get off the field. And that's their fifth first down on this drive. Ball now at the 17 yard line. And the Mustangs showing no signs of stopping and Jaguar showing no signs of being able to stop him as the Lutz will keep the ball again somehow stay on his feet but all for naught as he really really gets swarmed by the Jaguars there Jaguars. 
And that'll be a five yard loss. Bring it to second and 15 for the Mustangs. Now the Jaguars really need to make sure they don't allow anything big over the passing game. Three receivers wide. One in the backfield. Take the snap and do a quick handoff. And it'll be third and about 11 for the Mustangs. And for the Jaguars, you'll take it. After that drive, stalling them out. But I have a feeling they're going for it on fourth down with 7.20 left. The clock moving how it has been. This second half has gone by quick. And on a third and 12, Mustangs. So let's go to keep it. Has wide open down the side and just not able to bring it up. And it'll be short. Once again, just good play, a good play action and just an open receiver, but just not able to able bring to it go up. any further. Now, fourth and five at the 12. And there was defensive encroachment. But that'll bring them to fourth and one. And the Jaguars have had three penalties on this drive. Two resulting in a first down. And this one making a fourth and five to a very makeable fourth and one. Now the good thing for the Jaguars is time is ticking. And so let's all keep it. Dive forward and... He'll get the first. And just a quick play. Keep it and hope your offensive line can get you enough room to get forward. And the ball spotted on the five. It'll be first and goal. And they'll hand it off and... They'll make it in for a touchdown. We're now looking at a 28-20 game. Kevin Andrews on the carry with the touchdown. And that's six first downs for the Mustang on that drive. They really just moved the ball well methodically and were able to get First down, second and shorts, third and shorts. And kick is good, and that'll bring it to a 21-28 game. And the Jaguars really got to get going here. Got to keep the ball, get a couple of first downs. And you either want to score or make sure the Mustangs don't even get the ball back. We'll take another look at the extra point. Something to note is the height of the kick. And a little bit of a low snap. The kick barely chipped and somehow through the uprights probably could have been blocked. But either way, 21 at 28. Mustangs with good drive there and have looked good in this second half now the Jaguars did have a trip to the red zone their last possession but weren't able to put any points on the board 
And off of a turnover on downs, the Mustangs march their way down. D'Alessandro deep, deep for the Jaguars. And that'll be another low kick. Out one, not going to take great bounce. Going to run patiently and get up to the round the 37. And it'll be first and 10 from Jaguars from the 37. Just a low kick. Rolls it to his hands and really nothing opening up for him. So it just goes down. And I'll be honest, the Mustang crowd seems to be louder than the Jaguars right now. And that's concerning because I have heard a lot of Jag Nation over the years I've been here. And usually they're pretty electric. So for a team trying to keep a lead, they could use some of that energy. Uh, Aiden Sweeney gets hit behind the line. Pick up of one, man. That'll bring up second and nine for the Jags. From the other side of the pond, we have a final Jackson Liberty 46, Keensburg 7. And Jackson Liberty just got note won 46 to 7 over Keensburg. And luckily we got a much closer game here. Time ticks down. Five minutes left. Seven point game. Time man, once again, I'll hand off to Aiden Sweeney, and this will go nowhere again. And while it looked like the Jaguars were winning in the trenches for most of this game, really, towards the end, it's not looking too good for the Jags. Third and seven now. They really need this first, and it's a long seven at that. Man will roll out, look to throw, and waiting for a ruling. And it'll be a completion on third and seven. Clutch passing there. And just a good play, a good throw, and a good catch on the sideline. And even though it stops the clock, it's a big, big first down. And after not working out in the running game, they go to the pass to get the first four minutes left. Jaguars looking to put the icing on the cake. We'll hand it off to Aiden Sweeney, and he's able to get a pickup of six on the play, and that's big considering how their rushing attempts went earlier in the drive. And there's an injured player down for the Mustangs. Ladies and gentlemen, please remember next week the Jaguars travel to Howell Township. Kickoff time against the Rebels. 6.30. That is a division game. The Jaguars are part of the Constitution Division, which is made up of Colts Neck, Howell, Freehold Borough, Freehold Township, and Marlboro. Essentially, the Old A North. And to get another player getting stretched out on the field. Hope it's nothing serious, but second and four for the Jaguars when we get back. And as to take a look, a tradition here that I used to do when I was a kid and everybody used to do when they were a kid, and that's just 
playing football in this little open area next to the bleachers. Always a fun time. And once again, it turned out to be a beautiful night here. Temperature stayed pretty warm. There's a little bit of breeze at the beginning and he's up and walking off the field. A little bit of a limp, but looks good. And that's always what you like to see in every sport, no matter the team. Just nobody ever likes injuries. And clock will resume with 3.45 left on second and four for the Jaguars at the Mustangs 39 yard line. And a touchdown will stand 34 21 Jaguars. Big play. And that's the icing on the cake for the Jaguars. Once again, just a good keep, making a couple of them guys miss, and you really got something going. A little bit tripped up, and a good block there. Hold the block, attempted diving tackle, and there was a face mask call on that. So now, low snap again, but good kick. That'll make it. 35-21, a 14-point lead. And once again, just look at this play. Just open on the sideline, a good block, no holds, and a little bit of a face mask here. Will be enforced on kickoff. Just great play by the Jaguars. Exactly what they needed. Three minutes, 14 seconds left, and barring a miracle, the Jaguars should have just sealed this. And the energy for Jag Nation definitely picked up as most of the Mustang crowds getting a little bit impatient and some even leaving the stands, but this game's not over. The Mustangs have shown pretty decent passing attack. They've had a couple of throws deep and Delt definitely has the arm. Number 15, Brady Adams, will get an opportunity to kick off as well. And a different kicker out here for the Jags. Not quite sure the reasoning, but he's there and not a bad kick, that'll take a good bounce. A little bit awkward to return. A little bit of a standstill, and the ball will come out, and that'll be the Jaguars' ball. And that could not have gone better for the Jaguars. They'll get the ball at the 16-yard line. We'll take another look, a low kick, slow bouncer, and just picked up, nowhere to go. Tries to take it back towards the sideline, and a good punch out by Number 13 and Jaguars all over that. And just a phenomenal play. And with 2.57 left. And we'll get another different look from a sideline camera. And just a low kick and really just nowhere to go with it here. And a really good play, able to reach around with the other hand, complete the tackle, and three Jaguars, no way they don't receive the ball. And hand off to Sweeney over the middle, and that'll be a good four yard pickup. And, and really just solid play by the Jaguars now. They just need to make sure to not cough up the ball. Try to get a first down here. Can run out the clock. Bring him to a second and five. Go, 
and the energy from the Mustang sideline is, uh, yeah, it's all gone. There's not much hope. The Jaguars need the, the worst case scenario to happen for this game not to end with the Jaguars win, but a handoff to Aiden Sweeney again, and it looked to be about half a yard short of the first down. So it'll be a third and about half a yard, and just a good run, and just met with a wall of Mustangs, but Looking at about a quarter of a yard to gain. Now on a third and one with a minute left on the clock. Time will hand it off to Aiden Sweeney and he gets lit up in the backfield and uh, well it's a good play it just feels like too little too late for the Mustangs but it will call a timeout. And yeah really not much for Aiden Sweeney to do. And with 43 seconds left, only two timeouts for the Mustangs. As you can all look in, uh, really, this play was just brutal. Time man slips up a little bit, but not that that really mattered. It, uh, yeah, that, that old play kind of blew up, and uh, a defensive line just able to win at the line. And. Like I said, probably too little too late. I'm gonna break up a fourth and eight for the Jags. And ironically, when I got a And now with receivers out wide, Time Man will take the snap, roll out to his left, looking for the end zone, not able to find anything, will throw it deep, tipped, and really a phenomenal play by the defense. And it'll be a turnover on downs and not much for Time Man to do. But good throw and just a better play by the defensive back. Barely able to get a fingertip on it. Would have been a sure touchdown. But with 34 seconds left, 86 yards to go and two timeouts. Not looking too good for the Mustangs. And it'll be a timeout for the Jaguars.
And the Jaguars really played a clean game. There was only about one drive where there seemed to be a couple of penalty issues. And uh, that was just a really good drive that came out for the Mustangs. But everything that happened in the second half took too much time. And Jaguars came into the half up 21 and did a good job of just maintaining that lead and building on it. And low snap, quick throw to the sideline. Has a little bit of room, and that'll be a first down. Not it, and we're now getting into a quick offense for the Mustangs. And the clock stopped for some reason. And it'll buy the Mustangs a little bit more time they probably shouldn't have had, but Okay, have to move up in the pocket, scramble, and this is not what they want. Takes the slide. And first down, Mustangs. Twelve and a half seconds left. As the clock will continue, and finally a timeout called. And uh, eight seconds left. It's... Uh, yeah, not looking too good for the Mustangs. And uh, uh, it's been a pretty good game, especially after the first half. It uh, it started out pretty quick. Uh, first drive of the game, not great by the Mustangs. Ended in a fourth and 45, but then the Jaguars were able to find two touchdowns on Two throws by Ty Mann, able to go 14 nothing before the Mustangs were finally able to respond. And right to the end of half, after a 92-yard punt return for a touchdown, the Jaggers are up 21-7 at half. And right out of the gates at halftime, the Jaguars were able to put up a quick 7 and bring it to 28-7 before the Mustangs answered right back and brought it 14-28 and now just a bit of formalities as Mustangs got within seven to bring it 21-28 but the Jaguars after a touchdown off of a time man scramble and then a kickoff fumble recovered by the Jaguars were able to just kill the clock all the way to where we are now with 10 seconds left. And I'll take the snap and throw it to the side and really just fall on it. Low throw. And with three and a half seconds wonder if the Mustangs are going to use that timeout or just let the game end. And one last snap, a throw to the sideline. It'll be caught. The clock hits zero. And a big tackle by the defensive lineman to bring them down. Could be the sportsmanship at the end. And the Jackson Memorial Jaguars will beat the Brick Memorial Mustangs. With a score of 35-21. Beautiful night at Jackson Memorial. Good football. And as always, I'm Brian Martingano. And this has been JTV's Game of the Week. Thanks, host Red Bank at 6 p.m. The Jaguar.